Hello, this is a class of big data. So today we are going to learn about big data technology. So as I have a big term and the term is big data. So we have many terms through which this big data is made of. So I will mark here first. Then three. This shows that each and everything has a common integration with big data. So now what are the terms? First we have intelligent software. We have a term of intelligent software. We have scale out infrastructure, scale out infrastructure, and we have large data sheets as the three terms intelligent software, scale out infrastructure, and large data sheets. Now, what are the things in the intelligent software? We have machine learning, we have machine learning, then we have natural language processing as natural language processing. In this, where we have intelligent software. Next, we have scale out infrastructure in which is massively distributed. That means big architecture which is distributed. We have linear scalability. And commodity hardware. So these are the terms here in scale out infrastructure. Now in a large data sheets we have unstructured or semi-structured data. First is unstructured or semi structures. We have continuously streaming information. Continuously streaming information, and we have volumes in multiples of tera and petabytes range. Volumes of multiples of beta and terabytes. So all of the, these things have a common integration term and that term is a big data. So for a big data we require intelligent software. There should be a large data sheets requirement and scale out infrastructure. So a combination of all that means integration of all we can say we can have the big data. Now this volume of big data that means we say that the volume of big data which means that it cannot be processed quickly on a single computer. So volume of volume 
volume of big data means that it cannot be processed quickly on a single computer. So can't be processed quickly on a single computer. So that means such volume of a data that it cannot be able to process or it cannot be able to process quickly on a single computer, no matter how powerful this computer is. So irrespective of the power of the computer, we have such volume of a big data that the computer is not able to process such data easily on a unit. So fortunately, the rise of big data coincides with the rise of inexpensive commodity servers. So rise of big data coincides coincides with the rise of commodity servers. In expensive the rise of inexpensive commodity servers with many and sometimes thousands of computer processors. So here we have the term that as we want to have a big data that means thousands and multiples of files which need to be processed easily. So this rise is with the rise of these commodity servers. Now as per the what is a commodity server? So commodity server is a, like it is a thousands of computer processors together which is working to process such large volume of data. So a rise is simultaneous or it coincides with the big data and the commodity servers that will be able to process our bits quickly in a shorter interval of time. So here in this case, a single data processing problem So here there is some problem that means a single data processing problem. This problem can be divided across inexpensive servers. So this problem can be divided across. So problem can be divided across inexpensive servers. the single data processing problem can be divided across inexpensive server and then united again when finished so if I have this problem like I will mark this only as an example so this is a problem. So this is a big problem. So I will give a part to the multiple processors that you have to process the base. So I am dividing this problem 
and then I am distributing to the multiple servers then now you can process individually and after all the processing I am uniting these again because now I am finished so I have the resultant so you are a single data processing problem that will be divided across inexpensive servers so here like i have in inexpensive servers i am dividing these across inexpensive servers and then i am uniting again when it is finished so this is basically the concept now the technology environment for big data has changed dramatically So, technology environment So, this technology environment for big data has changed dramatically has changed dramatically over the past several years over past several years so over the past several years this environment for big data service are changing and it will continue to do so So big data, like we are moving towards processing of large data files, structured or semi-structured or unstructured. So we need to process. So we require many commodity servers to which we are dividing and processing this way. So this is the basic concepts of a big data. So we will continue with big data and its and this technology in our classes so far today. Thank you so much.